Hi Team 13. I am going to start reading to you from a book once a week um, called Bedtime Math. And this is full of really interesting fun facts and then it's connected to a math problem. Now you don't have to do this at bedtime. That's just what the book's called. You can do it whenever you want and I will read one a week um, along with some other math things that I'll post in our Google Classroom. Today we're going to learn a little bit about bones, okay? This first one is called stick people. I'll just show you the picture. A picture of, whoops, a skeleton. And I'll read you some interesting facts about bones. It's a good thing your body has bones inside of it, or you wouldn't be able to sit, stand, or do cartwheels. You would just collapse on the floor like a melted marshmallow. Thankfully, your body has over 200 bones, and they don't just hold you up. The biggest bone of all is in the top half of your leg. That's called the femur, and that bone does help hold you up. But the teeniest bones in your body, the hammer, anvil, and stirrup inside your ear actually help you hear. And Team 13, do you remember when Ms. Maria came and was talking to us about hearing devices? She showed us those bones in that tiny little plastic case. We're lucky that each bone does its own thing. Otherwise, you might have to walk on your fingers or write with your nose. So that's pretty interesting about bones. Now there are two math problems that I'm going to ask you and you can, I will assign them and you can type the answer or write it on a paper and show me on a picture in the Google Classroom under your own name so that we don't spoil um, other people. So try not to write your answer in the comments because other people can see it but just turn it in in your assignment. Okay, there are two questions and I will write them down so that you can see them on our Google Classroom, but I'm going to read them now. You were born without real kneecaps. They start out mushy and they don't get hard until you're three or four years old. If you have three little babies and two grown-ups in the room, how many real kneecaps are there? Each person has two legs, but only some of those kneecaps count. So there are three babies and two adults. How many real kneecaps? That's question one. Question two, your thumb is actually your longest finger, even though it doesn't really look like it. It has three bones, just like the other, but the third bone is hidden in your hand. See, you have, all of your fingers have three bones, but this third bone from the thumb is hidden right here. How many bones do your five fingers have in one hand? So how many bones are in one hand? Each finger has three bones. Now, if you want extra, how many bones are in all 10 of your fingers, if each finger has three bones? I'll write these questions down in the assignment, and then once you figure them out, either you can show me a picture, you can write it, you can also record a video and explain to me, then you can turn this in anytime this week. And next week, we are going to read about teeth. Okay, see you later.